Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another cool video, and today I'm going to be talking about some random tips for chimps. Chimps is one of the hardest game modes, or is the hardest game mode, in Balloon City 6. Maybe hash cap is hard, harder, but chimps is what gets people to like, you know, not have that black border. So you either clicked on this video for tips, or you clicked on this video to make fun of me for how bad these tips are. But today is four tips for Balloon's TD6 chimps. Alright, the first tip is to think about the hero. So there's like two or three heroes you can use in chimps right away. And I think the best one that there are is, is Sada. Sada costs about $650, so it's pretty affordable. And is really good early game. So that's probably your best hero for chimps. Unless it's like a map like Flooded Valley. Then you might have to use Etienne or Admiral Brickle, probably. Another tip is, when let's say a balloon is coming past you, right? And you don't have any defense. You don't just run and randomly place a dart monkey there, just because, like, oh, yeah, I was going to lose. Now your dart monkey's going to stay there, and you just wasted $170, or so more than that, like 210 But what I do is I always place, like, a sniper. Alright, because then I can upgrade him later on to, like, a better path, and then he's useful. See? So you always gotta think about, like, is it really worth placing? My third tip is to always think about the future. So when I place down, like, a druid, right, and I want to go for, you know, let's say, Spirit of the Forest. You always gotta think about like, oh, does Spirit of the Forest pop camo? Does it pop lead? Is it a good DDT popper? Does it do good damage to pads? You always gotta think about the future, because let's say you make it to around 95, and you have no DDT popping power, then you're gonna lose, and you just wasted like 30 minutes. So you always gotta think, is this tower worth it? My last tip is to always buy the inexpensive towers, like the cheap towers. So like, you know, a lot of people get the Prince of Darkness because he's only like $25,000, right? He's very cheap. So that's really good in the mainstream of things. Right now, you can easily just buy him and he's good for popping stuff. So always get the cheaper towers like, you know, crossbow mask, all that stuff, just all that. But thank you for watching another Coda video. Like and subscribe, and uh, have a good wonderful day. Subscribe, 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 and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like.